Jamie, this was a surprise this morning at around 8.30 Eastern Time. It was a bit of a surprise, you know. Uh, there definitely been some pressure at Ford because the stock had fallen so much uh, during Mark Field's tenure. And then, uh, was it just last week during the shareholder meeting, you know, Bill Ford was defending the company uh, to the shareholders, but he never mentioned Mark Fields by name. Keith Naughton picked that up listening in on that conference call and uh, on that, on that uh, annual meeting. And so, you know, it kind of looked like there was going to be some kind of shakeup at Ford, uh, but yeah, it was kind of a surprise that, that Mark Fields did, uh, did get pushed out and replaced by Jim Hackett. And in fact, we have a great chart. Uh, it's 87.74 in the Bloomberg, and it shows the tenure of Mark Fields and how the stock has dropped in that time. It's a 37% drop. Various events, you know, having an impact there. This goes back to about 2014. Uh, you know, shareholders didn't really give Mark Fields the time that he would have desired to implement fully his strategy. Will they give it to Hackett now? Yeah, it was interesting. You know, a lot of what Mark Fields was executing as the CEO was Alan Mulally's strategy, which had invested a lot in more fuel-efficient cars and full-size pickup trucks. And, you know, that's great, except that uh, gas prices fell and American consumers weren't all that inspired by fuel economy. Uh, and so they were kind of behind on SUVs. Uh, but Mark Fields, he had a communications problem, you know, with, the, with investors and, and some other stakeholders. And so, you know, you look at this most recent quarter, you know, it's late, late in March, and they announced that uh, they, they lower guidance, they tell everyone, you know, your expect expectations are way too high. Adam Jonas from Morgan Stanley called it one of the biggest misses of all time, and the stock plummeted. Then they beat those lowered expectations. Stock rose for about half a minute and then went down again, and they just... Every time they won, every time they reported record earnings, they, the stock would fall. And it was just sort of always uh, had a negative spin. So, so, Jamie, the stock's down 30% since his tenure began in 2014, mm. leading to the obvious question, what does Hackett have to do to turn this stock around? Well, he's got to win back the confidence of, you know, of the investor, of the investors, the, the regular investors, the Ford family, but also the employees. And Bill Ford was just talking about this on the conference call that, you know, he's such a transformational leader and that, you know, he said he didn't want to compare Alan Mulally and Jim Hackett. But the one thing that was very similar was they both give people a real feeling that they're going to win and that it's going to be fun. And he also talked about how, you know, they don't have to cede the future to Tesla. There is no reason that Ford can't be the defining brand of mobility in the future. And I think that's just that level of confidence. He's got to he's got to be able to spread that around. He's a former Michigan football player from their dominant days. And maybe he can bring some of that spirit uh, to another squad of blue.